workouts and you know get back into training. So a little bit different for me, but um, just glad that we got the job done. So it's, uh, please tell us that uh, you know why you so good result this year. Too. You made a PB, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think this year, you know, um, it's my second year under my coaching staff, and I think uh, I think it's kind of commonly known that like your second year under a new training system is kind of when you really start to see the games and things. And then um, I came back from an injury last year, so um, last season, you know, I was competing off of half of the fall training, half of the time I was in the pool and wasn't even walking yet. And so this year we got a full year to really dial in things and. Um, becoming a professional, I just decided, you know, I'm gonna focus on the techniques and show up to practice with a different type of intention, and then that's all kind of starting to show. So, um, just yeah, I'm really thankful that our hard work is showing up. The point to make the, the score is it sprinting or like throwing and jumping? It's, what is the strength this year? Um, I think the strength this year for me has been the runs, which is funny because <laughs> those didn't go so well here. Um, because yeah, that's kind of what happens when you train through a meet on heavy legs, you know, you're not going to be quite as fast. But um, yeah, my running is kind of what I'm naturally the strongest at. But my jumps have been really strong this year, which I'm super excited about. And the throws are kind of my weaker area, but we are working on it. So I'm asking everyone to be patient with me. Um, you know, we're working really hard and we've seen big throws in practice and big throws in warm-ups. And um, I feel like we're really close to putting them together. But um, yeah, that one's just kind of developing the slowest, but we'll get there. And given you said you were training through you must, be, you must be pretty happy with your score nonetheless. Yeah, um, we honestly didn't have any expectations, so I didn't even look at what I scored. I was like, I just don't want to think about the numbers. And so, um, yeah, my coaches were like, just execute what we tell you to do. Let's just get through. And, um, yeah, they told me, they're like, fly home tomorrow. Be ready for business as usual on Monday. So we've got a nice six weeks to get ready for Worlds. The last year you got the bronze medal in the World Championship in here. Then this year, what is the goal for you? Um, this year is just the goal is, you know, to show up to Worlds and do my best. And I think if I'm at my best, I'm going to be able to be competing, you know, for the top spot on the podium. And um, all I can do is bring my absolute best to Budapest, hopefully a PR, hopefully over 7,000 points. And, you know, wherever that lands me on the podium, I can't control that. But, um, you know, I'm optimistic about what it could be. We saw some photos with you with the JJK today. Were, the, were you with her some today? Interact with her a little bit? Yeah, um, I stopped by Adidas Hospitality. They have a house um, just a couple blocks from the track, and they have like a recovery room and snacks and stuff all set up for us. And you know, she's hanging out in there. So my fellow Adidas heptathlete, and um, so yeah, we got to walk into the track together and hung out a little bit this morning. And, um, yeah, it's just awesome to keep getting wisdom from her. She's really poured into me just, um, you know, kind of the off-the-track advice, which has been super, super valuable, and I'm really, really thankful for her. Yeah, that's definitely the goal, but, you know, championships, they honestly are about the wins, so, yeah. you know, if I... If whatever reason none of us want to score high and I came out on top, I think I would be just as happy. Um, but yeah, going into it, that's definitely a score that we're eyeing because you know I want to put my best of top on together and you know if you do the math, that's kind of the neighborhood that we're going to be in. So fingers crossed. To get to 7,000, do you essentially just want to repeat what you did in Gozis or is there a significant change you want to make in something? Um, not a significant change, you know, I think I went into Gotsis just focusing in on each event and we were really fresh and tapered and you know we're going to do that same taper for Worlds and so um, I know when I'm fresh my runs are going to be really well, the hurdles, the 200, the 800 and so um, when I have those as my strength and then um, you know hopefully have really strong jumps there as well. I think coming out of Gotsis I um, would like my long jump to be a little bit better at Worlds. Um, those jumps were a little bit from behind the board and it was a little tough out there you know my coaches were back here at regionals and simply regionals so super thankful that I'll have them at Worlds and I think that's going to help in the throws as well because that's the event I get the most nervous in so I think that's the hardest to do with your coach um, halfway across the world so hopefully we can um, work together at Worlds. Is there a certain marker along the way where you're like okay 7,000 is in the range now either after the first day or at some point the second day is in the back of the number? Um, honestly I don't think about the total score until before the 800. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I finished day one and people will start giving their projections and I'm like, I have no idea what's going to happen, <laughs> like, um, cause you just never know how your body's going to feel, what the conditions will be like and how stuff will play out. So, um, I just always try to focus on putting my best foot forward in every event and then before the 800, we start doing that and my coaches are like, okay, do you think you can run this? Do you think you can run that? And I'm like, oh my gosh. And then, um, just go for it then. And for the fans, the track fans who like maybe don't follow the multis like as closely, we're at a special point where it's like some of the best women of all time are going to be going.
about head to head in Budapest. I guess can you describe I guess like this moment that fans can watch in Budapest? Yeah, um, you know it's gonna be a war, and I'm really really excited for it. And um, yeah, I would encourage fans to you know maybe like do a little research on what the heptathlon is, and um, it's gonna be a really interesting battle. I think uh, between the people that are vying for the gold medal, we have very different strengths. So it's going to be like, how far can I outrun you in this? And how far can I outthrow you in that? And I think that's a really dynamic and interesting storyline if you kind of just do a little bit of research to be able to cue, cue in. And then, yeah, it's probably all going to come down to the 800. And um, I think it's going to be a really exciting finish to decide, you know, the world's top female athlete. Yeah. For you, I guess you work 